Today we're talking about the general ledger and I'm your instructor Brandy. The ledger is the next step in our accounting cycle. You've already watched a video about how to get transactions into a journal by making journal entries. Now we're going to take those journal entries and put them into the ledger. And what the ledger is, is a chronological listing of all the transactions in one account. So we'll have a ledger account for cash, we'll have a ledger account for accounts payable, we'll have a ledger account for revenue, and so on. In a previous video, you looked at these examples and how they got into the journal, and we made these journal entries. Now let's put these journal entries into the general ledger. So this is what our general journal is going to look like. For each account, we're going to have a listing of all the transactions within that individual account. And we're gonna keep a running total of the account balance, so at any point, we can make the financial statements from the general ledger balances. Let's see how we put our transactions from the journal entries into the general ledger. So the first account we're gonna deal with is cash, and it has a debit of $10,000 on January 1st. So let's put that into our ledger. I go find my cash account. The date was January 1st. We're going to debit for $10,000, and the balance in the account right now is a $10,000 debit balance because we only have one transaction in this account right now. And I'm gonna go back to my journal entry and I'm going to check that off as being done. So I know that I don't have to deal with that anymore. Now going down the list, I can go to the capital account and it has a credit for $10,000 on January 1st. And I go back to my journal and I check that off as being completed. The next transaction, I've got car debited for $5,000. Go down, find my car ledger, date January 3rd, debit $5,000, and the balance in the account is $5,000 debit because there hasn't been any other transactions. I'm going to check that off as being done. The next one, accounts payable credited for $5,000 on January 3rd, and check it off as being done once you've completed it. The next item down the list is advertising expense debited for $100 on January 5th. The next item is cash being credited for $100 on January 5th. Now it's important not to make a new ledger account for cash. Use the ledger account that's already in use. Now when we update the balance account, we have a debit of $10,000 and a credit of $100. If there's two debits, add them together. If there's two credits, add them together. If there's a debit and a credit, subtract them. So in this case, we have a $10,000 debit minus a $100 credit gives you a debit balance of $9,900. And check that off once you're done. The last journal entry, we've got debit accounts receivable for $250 on January 7th. And the last account, service revenue, is being credited for $250 on January 7th. So when we're all done, this is our general ledger. So now you know how to post transactions to the general ledger. Thanks for watching.